Burr, it's cold. It's cold out here. It's cold today. We've had 80 to 85 degree weather for at least a week. And now Chef Tush has sent this cold Canadian air down here. We don't want it, Chef. Take it back. Take it back, Tush. Anyway, we've been in self-isolation for about three weeks. Over three weeks, right? Huh? Yep. Three weeks now. Total isolation. And that pretty much sucks. Uh, I'm not getting paid. I'm sitting, <laughs> sitting at home because I don't have any work. But total isolation. But we've been busy here in the, on the Rust Ranch working on cars. I've got the Rust Queen working on hers. I'll show you what I'm working on. This video is going to be a hodgepodge of stuff. I've got clips here, a little clip there, where I've had to jump around, jump around. I don't have any money to buy parts with, so I'm taking the parts that I bought for cars that I thought I needed in the future, working on this one and working on that one, working a little bit on that one without spending any money. So let me show you what the Rust Queen's working on, and then I'll show you what I'm working on. It's cold, cold. I'll show you what I'm working on. What are you working on, Chip? Well, I'm getting ready to do some blasting. Gonna be blasting right around in here on the 62 Buick wagon. Which they haven't been introduced to yet. Oh, that's right. So I guess I'll have to throw that clip in this video too. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna be doing some blasting here at the rear end. And then I'm getting ready to put my little board up. Box board so it doesn't get all inside. Trap all the sand out here. So that's what I'm getting ready to work on. And that's it. Get back with you a little later. Alright, I've been working on the Valiant Wagon also. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but we got a radiator in it. And I think oh. I, I think I put that video up already. Uh, we're going to get it pull it for, pull it forward to the shop here shortly now that we've got the Buick 61 Buick out of the way out of the driveway Bimini blue so I can start welding on the floors on it and I'm working I've been working on the IROC I got it running I drove it Tina says she has some video of me driving the video the IROC mm -hmm. yeah I'm driving it about twice a week just for fun just for kicks and keeping motivated and then I'll show you the problems I'm running to on the Barracuda we'll walk down there and check it out I don't know what the deal is with the 64 Barracuda. It has been fighting me, fighting me, fighting me. Everything I do, it's just one obstacle after another, and then it leads to five more things. It's just like it doesn't want to run. I've made up my mind. This thing is going to run. It's going to take me around the block if Tina has to push me. It's going around the block. I'm going to drive it. So I've got it checked up, as you can see. I thought I had everything ready to go. I was going to drive it yesterday. Got in there and hit the switch. And the starter wouldn't turn it over. So I don't know what's going on with that one. I've got a spare used starter I'm just going to put on it and then uh, see if we can get this thing going. Hopefully by the end of the day you'll have video of me driving this <laughs> pain in the butt car down the road. All right, bring you back guys back shortly. Now look at this. That is what you call pretty in pink. And you talking about a homemade job that is homemade. But as long as it works, that's all that it that counts. Cover it up in my little tailpipe in bezels. Cardboard. Poster board. And tape is all you need. Just thought you might like it. A stinker. Well, I, I got oil pulled forward all, all over the place. Anyway, it's been a contest. <laughs> it's been a, a peeing contest between yeah. me and that car. I'm not giving up. It's, it's going to take me around the block. I'm going to drive it. First time in about, I think, 40 years. The last time it was, was 
the inspector was 1980, so they yeah. could be first drive in 40 years. Anyway, I'm going to try it. I'm going to head down the block this way, turn around and come back. So you know where to find me? I know. I'm getting up back in five Too minutes. Too bad you're not here, Vern. I wish you were here, man. I know, Vern. You miss it all fun. Where are you, Vern? You're not here. All right, the Barracuda lives again. There he goes. Get a wheelie. <laughs> Literally, there's no floorboard in it, and he's sitting on wood, and the seat is not fastened down. He just has a couple of bricks underneath, so it's not like he can do much. There he goes. In 40 years, it's a long time to not be driven. Look who's coming. We'll listen to it. He made it back. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. He has a little gas ball inside. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good gravy! Still can do a wheelie. Burn, you should be here. You should be here, Vern. Yee hoo! This thing will fly. Uh, really? It'll fly. Are you serious? It'll fly. Watch out. He whiz. Who knows how to burn some rubber? That comes from the old days of <laughs> racing. Old days of racing. He loves to race. Back again. Hope he doesn't run over me. Getting a wheel. Just brings back the old days. The good old days. <laughs> Was it fun? <laughs> that thing will fly. Seriously? Oh, man, it must have a must have a steep gear in it. It will fly. It, it'll smoke them. Of course, there's only 13 inch tires. <laughs> I know. the back of that thing, but it will. Oh, man, man, it'll fly. Oh. I got a little ignition miss, but. Man, I'm happy. First drive in 40 years. If you were here, Vern, little brother, I'd, let you, I'd like you to take it down there and let you burn some rubber on I it. I know it. Awesome. Man, that thing's awesome. It's a 315. 318. Oh, 318. It's 318 two barrel, four speed, but like I said, it, it must be geared pretty steep. because it. Look, it's hot smoking. Well, I, it needs a radiator job. Yeah, it needs a radiator, so. uh, Along with a lot of everything, everything else. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm happy. I won. I know. I told you you're going down. I told you you're driving me around the block uh, today. one way or another. Uh, today. today. It's going to happen today. If you had to push me around, you would take me around the block. Dang. I'm happy, man. That thing will scat. Woo -hoo. Too bad you're not here, little brother. We I miss know. you, buddy. I know. Very much. Very much. All right. Let's move on to the next project. I'm going to let that one sit down. Woo. Did you get an adrenal rush? Oh, yeah. Did I mean, you? Broke about the old days I mean, racing. I had a tag. You'd be going. I'd burn off those tires. <laughs> no. I'd smoke those tires. All right. Catch you guys well, later. Working on the next project now. Rust Queen's still working on yep. her pink and blue. Whatever, whatever it is. Burn and Dean brought you something. Burn, baby brother. Yeah, you in here. So he brought you something. He brought you some snakes. Snakes. Yes. All right, let's see what you got. Snakes. Snakes. Where what are, are you saying? Snakes. Where? Oh, come on. I don't collect snakes. Well, I don't either, but that's what he said, and I don't know anything else. He said it's back here on the table. Uh, I see it. Oh, I you see, do? I see it. Snakes. Really? Burn. It's burn. Ah, that's a snake. Yeah, that's a set of snakes. There's one right there. I see another one right here. Ah. 
feels like Santa Claus arrived. Are they friendly? I don't know. You can they, touch them. Well, they'll bite though. They'll bite they? Yeah, have they, a nice bite yeah, to them. Yeah, they'll bite. What's this back here? He brought me something else back here? Oh, uh, well, he said he brought some goodies. Well, I see him back here now. But I just left the door open for him. All so. right, let's see what we got. It looks like he brought me a set of what, uh, exhaust manifolds down there. See them on the floor? Uh, Those are for a 340. Oh, looky here. I see something down here, too. Dang! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus come to town. Where down here are you, Santa Claus? Edelbrock, performer really? intake manifold for a 340. It's got a one inch spacer on it, it looks like. Wow. And what's sitting on the stand? The Holy Grail of Mopar oh small my box. Oh goodness. The 340. A 340? 340. Wow. That's going in something we haven't introduced yet. Vern and I have been uh, Vern and I've been doing a little trading around and yeah. so I, I see he's he's taking good care of me right here. 340, we'll take a look at this while after a while. I, I may pull the intake off and just take a look and see. I may drop the pan because I'm not sure what year it is. I want to see if it's got a cast crank or forged yeah. crank or whatever. But um well, Vernon, you're 340. Fella. Look at here. Look what I picked up from Ivester. A 340. 340 bell housing. Well, so I'm going to mount this on the 340 and build an engine stand, a run-in stand, and I'll run it in place. I also picked up a perfect flywheel with a perfect ring gear. I mean, oh. yeah, Steve did me right. He did me a real good job on well, that. He's a good guy. He took good care of me on that. Notice these 340 bell houses and things are kind of hard to get. What's it? So oh. I'm fixed. I got, a, got an engine. Intake, set of headers, bell housing, flywheel, who knows what else. Santa Claus, hey Sandy, hey little brother, little brother, if you want to bring me something else anytime. I what about me? No, don't worry about you, don't worry about hey, you. Take care of me. Take You're care of me, little man, brother. Burden. You the man, Vern, you the man. You the man and a good man, is all I can say. Yeah, good I man. Like that. You the man. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Jerry and Jackie Polk down in Georgia. Jerry is always watches the videos and leaves me a comment. I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time. Not easy. Anyway, he and Jackie sent me this 66 Nova. White. Kind of looks like mine. And I really do love it. I actually collect my little cars as a hobby. So, uh, just want to say... Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Jackie. I hope Jackie's doing a whole lot better. She had some problems here recently with her health, but I think she's gotten over that now, hopefully, and doing much better. We appreciate the little Nova. Add it to the collection, Jerry. Well, normally I would say, darn, it's Vern. This coronavirus has got Vern and Everybody else isolated. Yep. And it's kind of, kind of not the same feeling, is it? It's not the same without our brother Vern. Without I little can brother tell Vern. You. Anyway, on a good note, the Rust Queen has another project. Another baby. Another baby, baby. is that what you call it? And my baby. And actually, this has some pretty cool-looking lines. Yes. It's a pretty unique-looking car. 60 what? One Buick. 61 Buick Special. special. And of course, it's a station wagon. And it's a station wagon. And I'm telling you, I had this on layaway for three months. Now look here. I know y'all think this is terrible. And it looks so much. Don't judge the book by its cover. This is what you call, I call rusty crust. It's where paint flakes up and rust mingles in with it and it becomes crusty and it just will sand right down to be smooth as a baby's butt and it's, it won't be all that rough so this whole entire thing was look just like the top but now look at it now i'm not sanding this all the way down to paint it this is going to have the patina look it's going to look Tent. And it, it has this known natural blue, white, and rust. And then, <laughs> when 
I get finished with it, do my sanding, smoothing it out. I'm going to put linseed oil on it to protect it and make it look really nice. Jerry wants it to be a, of course we need new two tires. <laughs> and <coughs> Jerry wants it to be a rat rod or a race car. Hey, I can tub this thing out, tub drop it. in a big block, cut a big hole in the scoop, put a tunnel ram on here. I'd have a bad drag car. Mm -hmm. Or I could rat it out. Write it out or just leave but, it as it is. Since this one is yours again. Look at that. I'll smooth that. I worked literally until 8.15 last night in the dark doing this. And I love it. And so, see this side, this side has already been done. Front end, this looks like you're 60. This side's a 61, 61. 62 over here. Front end looks like a 61 Buick. 62. Whatever, whatever oh, Bimini, Bimini Blue. Yeah, Bimini Blue 62. Bimini See, Blue is a what? 62. This side has already been done. I haven't done this here yet. I have to take this off to go in here, smooth that out. But all this here has already been done, finished. And leaving it that natural look. Well, I tell you, one thing is complete car. It is very complete. I mean, it's complete and it's original. The inside looks horrible, terrible, and everything else. So, yes, it's a, a wreck on the inside. No, not really. It's got air. It does have air. Automatic was like a Dynaflo. Bench seats. That's cool looking dashboard. Just need some makeup on it. <laughs> some makeup. I'm washing in a makeup and touch up here, touch up there. <laughs> All right, let's walk around and raise the hood. Take a look at that and see what you've got. But I, I, that's that has possibilities. Of course, my possibilities and your possibilities may not be the same. I don't know. Patina it out. Just get it running. <laughs> new tires, new nice wheel, wheels on it, and I don't know what kind yet. I don't know if I go should I go back to the original hubcap, but it is all original. I don't know. But and see all this here. I smoothed all this out. This is what I was out here last night doing. All this out now. It hasn't been cleaned yet, so it's still very dusty. It hasn't yeah. been cleaned off before I put the lens lens seat on it. And, Clean all the windows. Yeah, you haven't cleaned it yet. That's no, I have still not cleaned it. It's electric still rear windows, four lug wheels. Yeah, we'll cut that like we trailer hitch off first thing. <clears throat> Try to do that today. Get some more tail lights, of course. But every everything's on it. Everything Buick is on it. Everything is on it. There's nothing missing that I'm aware of. Nothing major, at least. Well, you're missing two hubcaps. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Two <laughs> hubcaps. That's exactly right. But so other than that, anyone knows it's pretty complete. One Buick hubcaps are? Let me know. That's a 15 inch wheel, too. That's strange. 15, I know. 15 inch wheel with four lugs. I don't know. Yeah. That came from the factory like that or not. But uh, it sure is. And you would never think 15 would be on this size of a car. But I like it because it sits low. I mean, not because the tires are, <laughs> tires are flat, but it, just, it, it sits low. It sits low to the ground. Pretty cool. And I like these. Overhang. Overhangs. <laughs> those stainless overhangs. I like that. And the stainless mm. is really nice. This looks bad, but it doesn't. You scratch it, put your nail over it. It cleans right up, just like this. You can clean that right up and be shiny. The, all that's here. So it does have potential, and it's going to be a nice patinaed out car. Poor oh, holes. I do, I do need to get one of these, though. This is missing here. One mirror is missing. Yeah, and the, the antenna is broken, but it, I found it in the back. <laughs> and we do have the other wiper. All right, let me see what's on the inside. See that? Look at that. They just smooth that beautifully. All, everything is here. And I do have this here. I do have those. Oh, it doesn't have the, the lights in it, but I have the bezel. I figure out how to do this. I didn't want to have to do this. All right. Well, let me cut the video off. We'll bring it back in just a minute. Yeah. All right. 215 all aluminum V8. And it's complete. I mean, it's, everything's here. 
has a generator. You're missing your bottle. <laughs> the windshield washer tank is here. No power steering. Well, I was just reading that off the internet and thought it had it, but apparently it doesn't. It's all original. It's all original under the hood. I mean, it's... Look, the battery box is not all, <laughs> all rusted away. That is highly unusual. It looks like they just parked it and left it for 50 years. 215 all aluminum V8. Actually, I think I want to get that running. It, dimensionally, it looks to be the same size, pretty close as a small block Chevy. And it would be easy to swing that out with and put in a small block with a turbo 350. But and, we and, might just go with the aluminum. I don't know. It's, it's locked. I tried to check. Yeah, it. I know. We had to get it re. It's locked, so I don't know if I can do anything with it or not. But if I fix can, it, maybe. If I can. Uh, if we keep it all original, then that probably will be what we'll do. Yeah, but if I can, if I can get it freed up, why I'll not? go ahead and pull the engine transmission out of it when I get room. If I can get it freed up, we'll just rebuild the 215. That's called the small block of the United Kingdom. Hmm. Uh, there's they Buick sold it to. Rover or somebody, and yeah. they're all over, all over the United Kingdom. They're everywhere. Really? Yeah. Even to this day? Oh yeah. Um, really? That's that's probably the most popular engine that they use. Like I said, it's it's, it's everywhere, and there's plenty plenty of parts available for it. So. Oh well, that's good. I know when this car was new, the only problems I recall with it was the copper brass radiator wasn't really compatible with the aluminum engine and had cooling system problems, but. We'll try to put us an aluminum radiator in there if we get this thing running and use this 215 engine and that'll take care of that problem. Yep. Anyway, it's got possibilities. It looked good with my as, as a drag car, but since this is another one, this is yours again. Hey, I have a good taste and a good eye for cars. That's, I do. It's pretty sharp. It is sharp. Well, Vern, I wish you were here to help us with this I know, car here, Vern. man. This coronavirus thing just keeping him away is a bummer. And he doesn't. He's not happy. We're not happy because we need him here. Yeah, I like it's hacking not the same. on my little brother. I like hacking on him. He's very outgoing person. Has an outgoing personality. Happy, bubbly, high spirited, and all the good things you need in a friend. So anyway, that's what it looks like. All right, chick. I like it. I, I like, like it a lot. I like it. I wish it was mine. I could do something well, with it that would be fun, but... <clears throat> I'll let you borrow it. You gonna, what are you going to do? Linseed oil it now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Linseed oil after I'm finished it. Grease her up, man. Uh, it gets shine a little bit. All right. Clean it up. Get the linseed oil yeah. and we'll bring you guys back. Maybe Vern will be here then. I don't think He'll so. think so? No, this virus is not going away tomorrow. Oh, well. All right, little brother, wish, we miss you, man. Love you, too. Yep. All right, see y'all. Just not going to blow you any kisses. That's right. <laughs> no blowing kisses. Love All right, you. see y'all. Well, it's about five hours later, and the Rust Queen is still at work. What do you have to say for yourself, Rust Queen? I treat it as a piece of art. So you, have to, you can't just sand it. You have to sculpture it sculpture like you were painting or something you have to sit back and look at it and then take a little bit more off leave that there and stuff like that so see how i outlined this right around through here to bring out this center section to make it stand out yeah that looks pretty good it's looking good like you said it looks like it's blue sky and clouds now the clouds with a little bit of rust in the clouds <laughs> rust in the clouds yep. There's the cloud and I think there's some rust in your clouds, yeah. Chick. But I'm telling you, when you put this water on it, and, and the same with the put oil on it, the colors are going to pop out big time. Yeah. It enhances it. So if you don't want it too dark, you can't have it too dark right now because it's really going to explode. But it's just like a piece of art. This is my canvas, and I'm just working on it. All right, artist. Catch you later. I finally got the eye rock down on the ground. I'm not gonna even go into aftermarket parts. I, I don't want it, you don't even get me started. All I can say is like Uncle Tony said in a video here recently, we're screwed. Stuff made in China is just freaking junk.
All right, we got it ready to fire it up, drive it around the block, and then wash it before we do some more work. All right, I finally got it going again. Drove it around the block, up and down through the neighborhood. It's got no exhaust, or open exhaust. Drove it through the neighborhood for about 10 minutes. Decided to bring it down here and give it a bath. It's nothing, nothing fancy, but I like it. Got to figure out what I'm going to do with it now. Hello, tree. Cow hood for sure. Don't know if I'm going to keep it automatic or switch it over to a four or five speed. I don't know. I bought a five speed changeover, but it's a T5, and that just doesn't, they say, it doesn't take a whole lot of horsepower to ruin one of those. So, and I thought about putting 385 in this one. I've got the 385 pig in a poke sitting on the stand waiting for me to put it back together. All the machine work done again. Supposedly it's correct this time and balanced properly. So, I don't know. Leave it automatic. Put it in the 385 since the 385 is balanced for an automatic or do what? You guys chime in. Tell me what you think. You put in a pretty hard day today. And I did yesterday. The Rust Queen's put in 12 hours, about maybe 11 and a half hours here. Then she went inside and rustled up some pots and pans and made an amazing stir fried chicken. Stir fried chicken with vegetable yes. dish. So I guess good. I'll keep you around for another week or two for yeah. sure. I'll come in when it gets dark and I can't see anymore. All right, well, I'm done for the day. I got the I Rock running, I got it cleaned up a little bit. And so now you're happy about that. Yeah, I am. I, I, that's a that's a I love the body style on that car. Oh, good. Uh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But all right, Chicky. I see you in about a thirty minute. All right, catch you later. Bye.